one. Here we are. It's the website one meeting. Uh, didn't, I don't think we had one last week. I was away. Um, Sam and Federico are here at the moment. Um, I think two weeks ago we had a bit of a chat, and we did also did we did start with a bit of a retrospective. Um, I guess probably the place to I can probably more easily find that. Well, I should, now did I? Ah, yes, I did indeed post those notes into our uh, Slack chat. And over here. So, yes. So we had um, some issues were brought up uh, about depender bots making things look a bit difficult. Um, we... There was also this performance issue. I was right talking about a different data model that um, might help address some of our performance issues. Um, Michael's concern was that recently he sensed that I was the only person working on website one, which is I think I'm the the only person who's regularly working on it. Although we have had great contributions from from Sigu and um, Ravine and and others, but it's um, we. Yeah, I mean, so, so almost local support feels more active than website one recently. Um, so we had um, action items. There was one for you, Federico, which was look at the Dependabot PRs. Yeah, and so uh, I am just looking at them now right here. I do look at them when they come in through email, mm -hmm. very, very superficially, just glance at them. And so I did not do that. Not a problem. I mean. I'm sure that I've failed to recognize your contributions as much as I should. I've been trying, you know, kind of just warming up the old cortex each morning, doing a bit of athletic recognizing. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's all, it's all fair. Um, my thing here is like, yeah, doing this low to, so I, we, uh, actually it was just off the back of the previous meeting, even without, so did, I don't know if you, you recall that we'd identified the kind of, the slow thing, right? Um, should, should I refresh our memories on what that was, or your? Yeah, sure. It was um, yeah. just that the the basically we have lots of people landing on this page, and every time they do, we have uh, you know we we pre we go and work out when is the next event, which involves working out the entire scheduling for all of the events in our system. So whereas, you know, some landing pages, they've just got kind of a, a what have you, um, we've got rather an expensive overhead for when, you know, for every impression of our of our homepage. So so that is kind of, you know, take up a lot of resources. Um, it's the ice cube scheduling gem that's doing that. Um, one thing that we we did, which was actually a depender bot, suggested an upgrade, which I did see what seemed like about a 20% performance improvement right, yeah. on the staging server. And so we got that out onto production. And I've now been, I mean, I'll bring in the production data. Now, the interesting thing is, in the last week, I don't know about for you, I haven't experienced any performance issues with the site. Have you? Well, not more than usual. Right, well, in particular, the, the thing that I was experiencing quite a lot the week before last was just, you know, as I do, I will be going to the, you know, these, these pages. <laughs> and every couple of days, I was getting like a 500 error going to these individual event pages. And, um, uh, you know, now that wasn't, uh, you know, as fast a load there as I would like to have seen, but at least it's not giving me a 500 error. So this week I haven't seen any 500 errors. I guess what you're saying is you also haven't seen any 500 errors. Correct. This week, but still, you know, individual pages are occasionally slow to load. Yeah, I mean, they are typically always slow. Right. Or, or right, they're never fast, is what you're saying. Correct. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, this sort of, I did, I did have this in like the last seven days. Where has it gone? Yeah, past seven days. I mean, it, like when I compare this with how it was before, you know, we're still going over our memory limit, but perhaps not as frequently. Um, the 
app deck score does not seem to have changed particularly anyway. So I, I guess, right, we've, we've maybe just shaved off the worst part of the performance issue with this increase. Um, and I was starting to think, uh, well, it makes it less critical than it was. But so I guess this is then an outstanding action item for me, is, is I should see, you know, can we get like a 50 or 80% boost if we remove this, um, you know, event grab thing from the homepage? Um, and so I guess the, the, the issue, you know, this restructuring would be expensive and complicated. Um, the simple fix would be just to like not display that information on the homepage. Right. Like, like, you know, how many people actually kind of come in from that? Yeah, it's hard to tell. I mean, we yeah. did have that sort of case of Will already being a member, correct? He, and... he, he was a member, and then he, he wasn't logged in, and he did... I mean, it's kind of... It's, it's clearly sort of borderline. I mean, my, my hope at the very beginning for the whole thing was that we would just make it super easy for people to join Hangouts. And that, you know, I, I always thought that, you know, the whole thing could become a lot more active than it actually is. We are now much more active than we've ever been in terms of all the number of different projects going on. Um, but I don't know that I can put it down particularly to the wonderful user experience that we've got on the site. You know what I mean? It's more down to, I think, people you know, hanging out with each other and joining each other's company and on Slack and this and the other, but anyway. Can we check on my uh, button upgrade, CSS button upgrade? I'm, I think that made a difference uh, on the homepage. You mean in terms of people clicking through on to get the, um, <coughs> get the, the, the premium? Uh, the, the call to action button on the homepage, I think uh, just how it looks so much better. I think people are mm -hmm. clicking on it. I think. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, well, I that that, that uh, the you know the things when, when I'm saying uh, lack of UX, I'm not referring at all to to any. I don't, that, I know. That, yeah. Um, I, and I, I was not being serious. Sorry. But but uh, it's a wonderful look. I just enjoy the thing there. Yes, yes. But I mean, I, I think we can. What we need is more great improvements like that, perhaps applied to what's going on down here. Um, but so, I, yeah, we've got I don't know, the the performance issue becomes then one of the one of the one of the ongoing things of the many things that could conceivably need fixing. Um, since we did a retrospective in the last thing, let's not do another one right now. The key thing we're supposed to do is bring tickets that we want to get voted on. Um, as it happened, I started a couple of votes during the week, and they kind of got voted on, and um, I've kind of grabbed them, and that actually worked out quite well. Um, yeah, I think we were in agreement most of the time. Yeah, I mean, there was, I was a bit confused here. I thought we had four people having voted on it, and it's a shame to get, to end up with a, it, I'm almost, I admit, that gives me some mixed feelings about having the no opinion button as an option in the yeah. um, thing, because you can think you've got sort of this representative sample, but then they're not. I think it's great that people can have it in someone's, anyway, that's a fairly async voter meeting. But yeah, so here we had, um, yeah, I mean, this, I was I was working all week uh, on, in the mornings on website one related stuff. Um, I'm very right. pleased to see that I didn't get the double ping of the um, YouTube link uh, when I just ran the Kempbeck Scrum. So that was, ended up being quite a complex bug to fix. But that was my main thing that I got done this week. Um, <coughs> so it's nice to get one thing fixed. Um, and I kind of now, I feel like this broken start hangout Google button is is probably the biggest bleed on the site. Um, but that's been voted on and I've started on it and hopefully I'll fix it next week. Um, Federico, did you have any um, tickets you wanted to highlight? I have not had a chance to look at the board. And so I, I mean, other than the depend about uh, stuff, I don't. Uh, I I've been, you know, kind of following your ecosystem reviews, and yeah. I think you're doing great work there. The hangout button, I think I agree. That's something we should work on. We already voted on, right? Mm -hmm. 
Do, do, do you, I tell you what, do you want to take a little, I'm going to step away for a moment, do you want to take a little, just scan through the board, and even just, it's also, I mean, you're, you know, the project manager of Phoenix One, which is, you know, I think people are, lots of people are excited about, and it's, um, you know, the other thing to be thinking about is independently of tickets that are there, there's like, how can Agile Ventures serve you as the Phoenix One project coordinator better? Um, so why don't you, you to take a minute to look through tickets and or think of other things that the site should be doing better, and um, and then we'll check. I'll check back in with you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. How much time? Oh, just like two minutes. Like like okay. one hundred and twenty seconds. Got it. So I think I'm out of time. Although, although take, take more of you, I'm, I'm also reviewing the tickets myself to see if there's anything I feel like needs voting on it. Okay. So I think some of these are done now. They're just not. Oh yeah, anything that you've identified that you think's done should be moved out. I wasn't sure about nineteen fifteen, but is this one done? Currently, we only display the primary one. Uh, Didn't you work on this on a? I, I did. But so it it allows you to actually, again, in my minimalist style, you can add multiple repos, but it won't actually show them. Oh, got it. Okay. So that's, um, yeah, that's right. That's right. I tried that. Yeah. So that might be something. Um, is, that not, we, is that not being voted on? No, it was. Where'd it go? 18, 1839. Yeah. Cool. Well, we could vote. Do you want to get that? Is that something that you're thinking we should get voted on? Well, it does make, make me think that when I did try to add uh, I'm trying to think now I guess it was the waffle I was trying to add waffle and since I already have PT on there it was not letting me okay so this is then that sounds like a separate need so this is about repos there's like multiple tracking systems so if, you, if you've got more than one you've got a, you've got pivotal and waffle for your um, Phoenix one yeah, but I think we're actually so this was a couple of weeks ago, mm. and I think we're we're gonna probably not use waffle. But I, I I do yeah, and you're right. It was for repos, but actually, so repos we do have multiple repos now. We have the sync for needs. Mm -hmm. We have Phoenix one. We may have this other SFN one that we want to add. Mm. Yeah. So this so would like, be this this would be a use if this was implemented. This would be useful for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we could vote on it. Great. 
Um, I was going to say we were just going to kick it off, but of course Michael is here now as well. Hey, Michael. Um, we could Michael. just uh, hey display uh, multiple repos for projects when present. I don't know if you've got any stories that you'd like voted on, Michael. But we can start off with with this one. So yeah, this was my minimalist thing. I got. I think it's called the cocoon gem in there that allows us to dynamically add um, more forms for um, when we edit our project, let's go to project website one. Let's look sport. Um, so that people can add and store uh, multiple repos. This was a particular request from, um, I think originally from Free Ranger, but. Um, seconded by JP and um, so I kind of went in and you can basically now add more repos in and then you know unlimited etc etc et but in the in the approach of doing minimalist stuff it's even oh. if you have added multiple repos as Met plus and the open power project and so on have have done um, at the moment this this view here will still only show the primary repo So um, this ticket would be adjusting this partial so that, you know, some set of uh, repos were shown. Um, okay. There's a related issue, which is then also like, in terms of working out people's contribution tallies and this, that, and the other, still only the primary repo is, um, is used for that purpose. But um, Michael has seen fit to vote, uh, Federico. Any, any further questions or issues related to this ticket? No, I don't think so. I was just waiting for your explanation, so I will vote now. All right. Um, so we have all voted, and it would seem that we would agree that it is simple, and so we can get that voted upon. Uh, or no, we can set the size and move it into estimated. Um, I wonder if we've got estimated. I guess est this, this, this division of columns relates to the fact that we used to be just like trying to vote on as many things as possible and then ready is that we've actually decided that they should be worked on. It's clearly been estimated. You're, you're saying you'd like this as a, as a kind of a project manager, uh, Federico, so perhaps we should move that into ready to say that it should get worked on. Yeah, it's not high priority, but uh, it, it'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I think we'd also we could label this as, I think this is a fairly beginner friendly um, item. And that's grabs. There we go. And it's an announcement. There you go. So, yeah, pop that in there. Um, so, yep, that all comes back in. I guess I was, what was I thinking? That I was thinking that it might be good to get. Uh, at least, let's see, the, get this one voted on, which I think is related to your stuff, Michael. Um, right. But, yeah. But I think that it's, we've got here, this is a research ticket to kind of basically work out what the right approach is here, really, rather than necessarily implementing the entire thing. Um, I guess it's, yeah, kind of, the, I guess the, the, the research ticket here, I would say, <coughs> to try and work out, like to propose, this is the next stage in the evolution of the domain model, and have a domain model that will be appropriate. And this was, yeah, you, what your suggestion, Michael, was, should we do an event-based thing where we kind of have a history of events like person subscribed, they upgraded, they downgraded, they canceled, what have you, and then kind of we can com compute over the history what state people are in. And, and that means that we always have the dates of when changes happen. Is that, that's the thinking, isn't it? 
Right. Um, so, but yeah, I think it's, 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 it's research that. So shall we vote on that? Okay, so I'll get that into the channel. Uh, Federico, any questions? It would seem not. Uh, we will say we've gone for medium, medium, simple. Um, yeah, go ahead, Federico. What we so uh, just because it's a research ticket. I mean, I guess mm. it could take some time to research it. Uh, the implementation, I would not say, is simple. So I'm happy to go with medium if you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That. Yeah. And I think that the key thing is more that independent. It, it's research. It's sort of. Can't, I was saying. Can't. It's like can't propose a. You know, because it'll probably like it. Like it's like propose a particular model, and then we poke holes in it, and then we kind of go back to the drawing board and so on. Anyway, yeah, let's put medium in there. Okay. Um, so that's fine, and that's in there. Let's put that. I think it needs to get done. Uh, let's pop that up there. So we could vote on more, but we've had some success at just voting on things asynchronously. So I think I maybe won't take up more of our time with tickets unless either of you have other, like Federico, you might have new needs that you're becoming aware of as a project manager. Um, and so tickets you'd like to create and get voted on. And anything yes. else? Oh, go on. So you just reminded me we we had a workaround for one ticket that would have been useful, which was to be able to create create uh, biweekly events. Right. Um, so we could create that one quickly if we I want to. I think we've got that as a ticket that's in there and being voted on. Oh, okay. So yeah, that yeah. that's ready to be worked on if somebody wants to work on it. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I would. I would. I would also like. I like the mechanism of kind of like prompting us to do alternating retros and kickoffs, but anyway. Um, yeah, anything else on your mind, Federico? No, uh, we just, since we're having live daily scrums or live scrums bi weekly at the same time, we just sort of did a workaround called it a scrum dash retro kickoff. Yeah. 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 Yes, so, yeah. So it's not really priority anymore. No. Okay. Good That's job. Um, Michael, anything that you wanted to get voted on? No. Yeah. All right. Um, before you arrived, Michael, we reviewed the um, uh, the retro that we did, or the notes from the retro from last week. Um, the, the, the sort of performance issue. The It seems like the Ice Cube upgrade has taken the edge off the performance issue, but the fair parts of the site are still slow. Um, so my, uh, yeah, I guess I've still got the open ticket for performance improvement. Uh, clearly, the massive restructuring is a lot of a lot of work. Um, there's an immediate test, which is for me to double check that actually removing the, you know, the grab of the. In the upcoming Scrum on the homepage really is, you know, a source of trouble. Um, I guess one thing to consider, we won't actually answer this now, is could this, the landing page just do away with this? Like, I've always thought, oh, it's great, you know, lots of people will, you know, come in and join our meetings because they can see that they're on the homepage. Maybe it happens occasionally, but, um, you know, it seems perhaps odd that we are slowing down the entire operation of the rest of the site for this kind of, you know, having this update here when we've got, you know, if you're on a different page, we've got it everywhere else, you know, perhaps the simple solution is just remove it from the home page. It doesn't need to be there. Can we just load that? How is that logic working on the other page? Is that similar? It's exactly the same logic. It's exactly the same logic. It's it's just that we get an awful lot of Such people a high to the home page on, on, on landing on this page. Um, I mean, I think you know if we, if we remove it here, it, it's um, 
yeah, sensibly, I guess before we do too much more thinking about it, I have to check that removing it from here would give us the performance boost that I'm imagining would. I guess any any further discussion of it is is um, you have a load test, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I, and I, yeah, I, I can I can easily do that. So clear action item to me there. Um, the if people are interested, I mean, I, I think Federico was saying that he's following the um, you know the agile re review. I, I've kind of got this. I'll just show you this. Looking through the site, there was sort of I've kind of prioritized like the start hangout button not working as being the key thing to try and fix. There's so many different things that could so, be important. Go on, Michael. Is the, the MOOC still running or? Yeah, MOOC's just started. So it seems to me like right now, website one, it seems like we have a lot of people working on local support. Their local support has become quite active recently, yeah. And it's just technologically similar to website one. Yeah. So I'm wondering why, like, local support particularly. Yeah. I don't know. The... I think it's perhaps slightly less... It, it's... it's um, I think it's slightly smaller. The tests run faster. Um, there are various things. It's slightly easier to get set up with. Um, I'm thinking, you know... We, we have had the hypothesis that like people aren't working on website one because it's legacy and it's rail and it's Ruby and nobody cares about that anymore right maybe so I mean there's certainly the it certainly feels like if we had react or elm on the front end that suddenly it would be much more attractive right and then uh, people were saying but what I'm wondering is like nobody it seems like we're not really getting anybody from the course anymore. Uh, well, we've had an influx of, like, there's several people recently from the AV102 class has just graduated. The, the MOOC has been kind of like in hibernation and it's just started up again. So, okay. you know, we might expect to see more people from that coming through uh, before too long. I guess the, um, yeah, we should probably wrap up. I mean, my my ongoing agonizing about which thing to focus on there is partly related to that. You know, it would be so lovely to be doing this with, you know, uh, three or four other people who are contributing regularly, and that would make it less of a pain to, like, working out which thing to prioritize. Um, we can look at ticket assignments. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, the, the, I'm going to do this, the start hangout on air button not working. I'll try and fix that, and then I guess I will come on to uh, this uh, the, the performance issue again. That's fairly going to add a note to, about what I was going to do there. Um, Michael or Federico, were you hoping to take any uh, tickets this week? Uh, what would you want me to take? Uh, well, you could take the d the domain model one that we just voted on the research <laughs> ticket. That's a fairly large ticket. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, yeah. Don't don't be press ganged or anything. I, I mean, I think. You had the idea for the event model, so I mean, when right. I, I don't mean like write the code. I mean just present, you know, like yeah, yeah. A Even so, it is a large ticket. I mean, I would think maybe we would. I'm bouncing around in my head whether we would do that in face to face, whether we would make any progress or not. Mm -hmm. Like in a week, because you want to do it next Sunday. Is that? Or next Friday or something, you said? Yeah, I, I sort of assume we're going to continue in the face-to-face -face to focus on the, um, the machine learning stuff. Well, we did, like, at one point in the face, I think the last one or the one before, we did stuff with the the... Not just with machine learning, but with... Uh, the async voter to get more data, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, and of course, it's I mean, entirely up to you what we I would imagine that. So, what I'm imagining is that, like, we could use the face to face because this is directly related to getting a better model for machine mm -hmm. learning. 
Mm-hmm. So it m- maybe makes sense in some way to use the face-to-face time part of it to facilitate. Yeah, I, I, I would have said I would have said off the bat that, like, if I was if I was working on this the the ticket, what I would do is I would start like individually just writing out like this event model thing. So just like the database structure for it would be like, um, you know, user events table, you know, would have type updated at created at you know just like write out a version of that and then share that. It would it would seem to me like less efficient to try and do that in parallel. Like you could spend 10 minutes writing that out and then sharing it in Slack and then we could all comment on it. And then, do you know what I mean? That, 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 that's, that's how I would imagine it working. But that doesn't sound so good to you. Okay. I mean, could try. I'm not sure how far I have stuff I have to do with Sure. Yeah, no, 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 that that, absolutely. If you've got a busy week and you wouldn't be able to find 10 minutes to write out the event model that you started describing, then no problem. Don't, we won't assign you to it. Um, Federico, you're obviously very busy as well with different things. Did you want to take any tickets or anything? So I believe I have one or maybe two tickets that I'm supposedly, uh, that are ready that I'm assigned to. Uh, so I do not want to take on any. I did have a quick question about 1915. Is that done? 1915. Mm-hmm. Uh, the listen in on s- while sign in. While uh, So this is yeah, okay. Hold on. I mean, it, it, it's. So that's, it's, what it is, is that. So it's not in production. Well. I guess I could check. So if if I log out here, we have this message for every upcoming Scrum. Um, What I have done is, in order to make the the Kemp Beck and the Martin Fowler scrums more uh, approachable, shall we say, is that I've added into their title the words, um, okay. you know, yeah. all, all that stuff like, yeah, like like this, right? Right, right. As a way of partly doing it quickly, but also to avoid the fact that, I don't know, for other people who are running, you know, Phoenix One or SHF or whatever, maybe they don't want them to be this type of scrum that's supposedly open to everyone. I mean, maybe this suggests that we need a different type of event, which is we've got an open scrum and we've got a product only scrum, which we've, we've clearly had those two kinds of things for quite a while. So now, even when you're logged in, you will, you know, when the modern file scrum is coming up, there is the, you know, like if we're really finickety, we do have the just listen in phrase, but we still have modern file scrum and pair hookup which has previously been criticized, not by Will, but as like, who's Martin Fowler, what's a scrum, I've no idea. Um, you know, f- further work could be um, created, I think if that's what we're talking about here, yeah. Uh, so, thus my question here, is this enough? This is what we now have. The Does that answer your question? Yeah. So it, it's it's there, but not for every. Um, not for event. every scrum. Right. I mean, and it, it certainly it cl- clearly, given that there is a link to the or. In principle, people who are running these things as streams, there is this just listen th- listen in thing. I mean, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's another can of worms there related to: Do we want to encourage people to be clicking on the YouTube links to listen in? Actually. Although that Will might have preferred to have been in that situation, the first scrum he came in, he was just he was like, "Oh, I can listen in," um, and he came in. But then I got him speaking, and now he's regularly involved. So, what's the best UX setup? I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, I might in- lean toward it being done, uh, just because maybe we don't. 
be best to to onboard people through the scrums the, the years as opposed to like a project uh, thing specific scrum mm. uh, but I guess maybe it does need some more discussion it could be a separate ticket though yeah I mean we've got like sort of a sticking plaster approach there and we probably need to come back to to will is saying how do you feel about it now and uh, then there's I guess what I can do um, He's will. Uh, I could just quickly find his I'll mention him here and maybe get his input. Is the way to go, I think. Um, will and White. Thank you. Okay. So. Now, I guess uh, let's come back to, yeah, so I'm going to very much try and get this fixed um, in this next week. And I, yeah, we'll see about, I'll, I'll certainly do the tests uh, to get us more information on this other ticket here. Um, yeah, I guess so. the, the, the depender bot stuff, which I think we all agree kind of needs merged in. Um, I guess, Federico, realistically, you, you don't have time to kind of take care of these, and maybe I should take care of them, right? Well, first of all, you don't expect me to take care of all of these, do you? No, no, no. I mean, I, I guess <clears throat> what I'm looking at here is I think there is a, a situation which I think is, is easily done by many people, particularly myself, um, where we where we kind of commit or take on to doing more things than we can necessarily do. Um, uh, the the danger of sometimes when you take on something is then people say, oh, well, that person's doing it, so I won't. So I kind of, you know, like, you know, some of these things are relatively straightforward, like they're green, you know, the tests have passed, we should just merge them in. Um, I, I think, it, you know, isn't it perhaps the sensible thing to do that I just merge, make sure that I merge one of these every day? And it's kind of, I think you you were being lovely and, and sort of wanting to help and say, yeah, let's help address that issue by offering your time to look at them. But I think you've got Phoenix One to manage, right? And everything else. So should we say, should we, I'm, I'm saying here, should we pass the responsibility of that action item from you to me, and then you that you don't you can take it off your to do list. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure. I totally offered, so I just want to make that clarification. Oh, okay. that, right. That, 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 that it's not like I um, wanted to hog monopolize that ticket. No, 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 not, not at all. I, and right, and and no, no problem. Yeah, I mean, me writing that down previously look at them may, may have been me misinterpreting the stuff in the in the um oh, and, and of course feel free to look at them if you, if you if you want to but i think what what i've got to take as an action item is i think to get us through them is i need to like take a more yeah. aggressive stance on getting them in so uh, yeah and yeah so let's do that and i was aware of it of the ticket um and but since last week you were not here we did not have the meeting it i, I didn't look at it and I still haven't looked at it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start with, we've got this bump faker. I mean, the interesting thing with the dependable is it partly makes me nervous because, you know, I hate kind of changing these things when I don't trust the test so much. Um, and I guess uh, I will click update branch there to see if it builds again. But so I don't even know what the faker does, but I think I might just start rolling these out and uh, experience the pain. Okay. All right. Uh, good show. Well, I'll maybe see you guys in the um, upcoming community meeting. Okay. Bye. Okay. And, and quickly, it starts in, at... 50, in 15 minutes from now. Thank you. All right. Bye for now. Take care. All right. Bye.